Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a continuation of my handbag color collection tag video and the color of the day is gray. I have eight handbags in various shades of gray that I'm going to show you today. But let me quickly tell you that I am feeling very poor today and I put makeup on over my dark circles but if I don't seem quite as peppy as my normal self that is why. Pretty much the only thing I feel okay doing is sitting on the couch right now so I picked gray because the black and the beige collection videos are going to take a very long time and I don't have any unboxings today. Those tend to be the shorter videos. So I thought I'd feature gray because I can do it in an eight bag video as opposed to a 20 bag video. Stay tuned for the 20 bag beigey nude color collection video. For today, I thought I would start with a luxury handbag and end with a luxury handbag. The first bag I'd like to feature is this beautiful earth gray YSL or Saint Laurent small Lulu. This is a beautiful shade of gray with what I think are brown undertones. The leather on this is a calf leather and I have found it to be very durable. Points of wear can be the corners for these bags, but I haven't seen anywhere there. Of course, I don't use any of my bags this much, but I've used this one more than a lot of my bags. You can pull the chain up to where it cross body and depending on whether you pull up the outer part of the strap versus the inner part of the strap will adjust the length a little longer or a little shorter. But I like to wear this bag on the shoulder. The second bag I'd like to show you today is my Coach Cassie in granite. I had this bag and then I sold this bag and then I bought this bag again for more than what I sold it for, I think, or maybe around the same price. I don't know. I think I lost, I know I lost money. So I'm not going to sell it again. At least I don't think so because I don't want to have buyer's remorse, but I did accessorize her with the little Rexy that clips on the strap with chain that Coach sells. I've got both the black with the gold chain and the black with the black copper or gun metal woven through it. And they both come with a little Rexy. So I put my little Rexy on the hang tag. And then the chain is from Amazon. It matches the black copper probably the best out of all of the chains that I've been able to find, but it is heavy. It's not an aluminum chain. And when I ordered it, I had to order a longer one and then just cut some of it off because it was too long. But since then, they've had the shorter one in stock. It's easy to adjust though, because it just clips on with these little rings. So you can cut it with some bolt cutters to whatever length you might want. And that's exactly what I did. I think I spent an extra $3 to get the longer chain. And so it wasn't any big deal. Next, I have my Soft Tabby in the Dove Gray Multi, which has granite as well on it. I just have her shoulder carry strap on right now. I really have only carried these soft tabbies that way. I really like it. I have the little hang tag accessorized with a feather. I showed you that before. Again, probably scavenged from a charm that I took apart. I tend to do that. I'm a charm scavenger. I admit it. I've got a problem. Anyway, so that is the Dove Gray soft tabby with the granite accents. And again, I have showed you the inside of these bags, but I have a SUNY bag and bag organizer that was designed for the small Gucci Marmot shoulder bag. And I can link that below, but I find it works really well for this. It's not a perfect fit, but it keeps it having structure on the bottom, which is what I like. Next, I have the Cassie 19 in the taupe granite multi combo. There is taupe, there is heather gray, there is granite, and then I believe the edges are a navy, like a midnight navy, but I could be wrong on the edges. The rest of it, I'm pretty sure I'm right on. I accessorized the hang tag with a little part of a charm. This is a little flower with a gray pearl in it. I thought it matched super well. And I love to carry this bag. Well, so far I've always carried it with 
the strap from my Marley 20, my Beachwood Marley 20, because the Beachwood color was very similar to the taupe color. However, now that I have the strap that goes with this, the color of the granite is very similar between the smooth leather and the pebbled leather. So I plan on using this bag with the crossbody strap from the soft tabby. All right, you guys know that I like round numbers or even numbers or odd numbers. I have kind of a weird rhythm. I like to collect my bags in certain numbers. So of course I'm going to like to present to you my gray bags in a certain number and seven would not be acceptable to me. So I went ahead and included this beauty. It's a silver croc extra small long champ top handle lay pliage. And next time I show you one of these, because there is another one in my gray collection, I'm just going to say Longchamp Extra Small. But this little cutie is in a silver metallic croc. It feels so silky and smooth to the touch. It comes with a matching crossbody chain. This was from last season, so you may see some of these pop up on Poshmark and Gilt and various places. So... If you want one, keep your eye out. I don't think Longchamp has them at the moment, but Kevin might be a good one to check with because since they are last season, the outlet may be able to get some and then you would know for sure it was authentic, which is a nice thing. And if I happen to find any, I will link it in the box below. It's always a good idea to check my box. Don't forget about that. Next, I would like to show you my Coach Rogue shoulder bag. This did not come with this little charm here. This is a clochette that comes with the first and second generation Rogue 25s and 30s and 31s that have the top handles. But I was able to get this and I think it looks really cute with the bag. And then I put a little Rexy on it just to give it a little more, you know, vroom or whatever you want to call it. Whatever I don't have today. But anyway, I love that. And I've showed you these before, but... I love that the straps have this really cool C chain on them. The bag itself is very lightweight and I love the 1941 tags. I have lots of love going on today, at least for the bag. The straps are a oxblood on the bottom and then the interior of the center compartments, the 1941 fabric, but this part here is a really nice suede and oxblood. That needs to be dusted a little bit but another day another dollar you know how it goes so i have two bags left to show you the first one is this one and i have her accessorized with a really cute dress up your purse chain and i can link it below i did use a couple o-rings one on this side and then two on this side to keep it out of the way of the flap when I wanted to get in and out of the bag. This particular bag, I would use it, since I have it accessorized like this, either with a gold chain from Next Fashion. There's some clips just like this that they have. I actually have one on the way that I can show you, but it would match the clips. And the other option is I have a chain by Model Worker, which is Amazon, that has the dark copper gunmetal color. And that chain would look really nice with this too, because it matches the gunmetal like perfectly. So since the charm from Dress Up Your Purse has both metal colors in it, you could really accessorize multiple bags that have the dark hardware with Longchamp in different ways because it gives you the flexibility to use either color chain for your crossbody or shoulder. And last but certainly not least, just like I said yesterday, is my Prada Re-Edition 2005 in the color Ardesia. This is a gray bag, but Ardesia is the name of the color comes with a beautiful golden chain and a little accessory key holder that says Prada Re-Edition 2005. I got this directly from the boutique. I have a Sunni bag and bag insert in her and then a crossbody strap, which is a web strap. And I've shared with you before I don't really like to have the name of any company across my chest, but I feel like this one is very subtle 
I have it upside down. I feel like this one's very subtle and I can always put it on the back side of my body if I want to, which is what I usually do. It doesn't have it down here on the lower part. And I like for this part of the strap to be on my front so that if I lean back and the bag is on me when I'm sitting, I don't end up getting poked in the back. I like how subtle the lettering is on that particular strap. And pretty much the only exception to that that I've made thus far would be with my strap that goes with my Boucle Longchamp Extra Small that has the croc accents. I I do like that strap. It says Longchamp all the way across, but I also don't feel quite as self-conscious about wearing that one because it's not a high, high price point. That is my rationale on that. So from Saint Laurent to Coach to Longchamp to Prada, we've toured a variety of different gray bags today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for bearing with me with my somewhat stunted speech and pep today. If you did like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. It would mean the world to me if you're not subscribed, if you would go ahead and do that. I mean, what are you waiting for? Do it, and that way you're notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, you can find me on Instagram under the same name. Just type in the search bar, the at symbol, the handbag housewife. My Gmail is also the same name. It's thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you and talking with you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.